What's up guys, welcome to the video. Today we are talking about how to stay productive. You guys have been asking me how exactly I stay productive. The fact is I'm not that productive, but since you guys asked me, I'll just give you my two cents on it. I'm also trying my best to stay productive during these uncertain times. So the first statement that I want to start with is that I find that there's this paradox in the relationship that is when we have so much of time, we are not productive, but when we are under time constraints, we become productive. So first things first, let's talk about online classes. Now with the online classes, there are two sections. There's the good ones, there's the bad ones. Now I'm here to say that please do watch the good ones, but please do, please do just skip that bad ones. We only have a certain amount of time in a given day. And if we spend our time in a class that we are not gonna pay attention to, it is simply not worth it. It's simply not. So the rule here is simple. It is all or none. Either you go all in into a class that is good, that you listen to it, or none, which is you completely skip that class. Now this leads to my next point, which is to ditch your phone during online classes or to not listen to the class in your mobile. Using your mobile to watch online classes is by far the worst thing that you can do for being productive. Just think about it. You have the likes of Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube that is competing for your attention versus who? Versus Google Meet, versus Zoom. I mean, just think about it. who's gonna win this battle for your attention. So for me personally, I have been using my laptop for listening to class and just by adding this one layer of friction into the process, I am able to be more productive and make the best use of the class at the same time. Now the next point that I have is scheduling. I find that just taking five to 10 minutes of your day just to plan the day out can give you the highest return on investment. Okay, just taking five minutes or 10 minutes to map out the whole day can potentially save the whole day. So this is called time blocking. That is for every hour, you would have some kind of thing that you want to do. And the key here is to not just include the work, but to include literally everything. You need to know what exactly you will be doing in every given hour of the day. Let's say that you want to watch a movie. Include that. Time block a certain hour of the day to watch that movie. You know, being productive is not just about work. You can also take a break productively. Going to the gym or exercising is productive. Each and everything that is done intentionally is productive. I think that is a mindset that we have to inculcate and that we have to adopt. So now that you have the whole day mapped out, you have time blocked, whatever it is that you want to do. Now it is time to go into the details of it. And the key here is to go hard or you can go home. You either get focused work done or you don't get any work done. That is simply how it is. Now I feel that there are two ways in which you can get this focused work done. One is the long hour period and one is the short hour period. The long hour means that you are doing a task for an extended period of time. For example, let's say I was doing video editing. Now I would do that for hours on end, essentially getting into that flow state. But whereas if I'm studying or something, I would not study for hours on end continuously. I would be just studying for short periods of time. I would be studying in 20 to 30 minute intervals, the Pomodoro technique, so the thing here is that depending upon the nature of the work, choose wisely. Now I'll be honest with you guys, being productive and getting work done is kind of boring compared to all the other things that you could be doing. So there has got to be a good enough reason to do whatever it is that you are doing. So the question that you have to ask yourself is why? Why exactly am I doing this thing? If you don't have a strong enough why, if you don't have a strong enough reason to do something, it is only a matter of time until we feel like giving up. For example, what do you think my why is? Right now, my why for studying is to pass the exam. And I can tell you that that is not a good enough why. Maybe that is a reason why I can't force myself to study a lot during these times. So passing the exam is not a strong enough why, in my opinion. Please make sure that is not your why. Have a stronger why. I'm also finding mine during this lockdown. So teach me or enlighten me about what exactly your why is so that I will also have a better vision and a mission. Share your why down below. And last but not least, have fun. What is the point of all this if you are not having fun? So the key here is to gamify the whole process of studying, is to gamify the whole process of doing the work, is to gamify the whole process of being productive. Instead of studying alone, maybe you can study with a friend. After doing a particular work, you can reward yourself. The whole idea is that to gamify the whole process and make sure that it is not such a chore. So to summarize the video, firstly, be selective with your online classes. And secondly, don't use your phone. Because if you use your phone, you will be subjected to all the distractions that your phone has. And before you know it, the whole day is kind of wasted. And thirdly, schedule your day. Add an element of time blocking to your day and you will realize how much productive you can actually get. Fourthly is you can either go hard or you can go home. That is get productive work done. So you can use a Pomodoro technique or you can get into the flow state. 
The fifth point is to ask yourself why exactly you are doing this. What is the reason? What is the higher purpose that you are doing this for? And last but not least, make sure that you are having fun. If you're not having fun, what is the point? What is the point of all this? So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.